Hello and welcome back to the DevWarm channel and today we are going to be going over how to create a super smooth zoom effect just like this. So if you need a good working camera for your Godot game then this is the correct video for you. But before we start, if you could subscribe it would be greatly appreciated as I upload two tutorials a week. And uh, yeah, if you need any type of Godot tutorial then let me know in the comments and I can do my best to help you out. Alright, so to start the tutorial we want to go to our player and add a camera 2D. And under the camera 2D, there is a ton of stuff. Like under the inspector of the camera 2D, there's a ton of stuff. Now, you always want to have it on current if it's your player camera. Because you want to start the game. Unless you want to start the game into a cutscene or something like that, then you'll have a different camera and you'll switch it in code. But this is the player camera. We want to start on this camera, so we're going to turn on current. Here's the zoom features. The more you zoom, the closer the, or I guess the wider the camera gets. And then the if you go to like 0.1, it's going to be extremely small. And everything 1.1 one, one is the normal. We can have drag margins, which is cool. So your player will move. Say we have horizontal drag uh, drag margins on. Your player will move whatever pixels to the right. If you come down here to the drag margin, set it. They will move. So for here, they'll move 0.2 pixel to the right. And then once they move 0.2, then the camera will follow. So the camera will always be a little bit behind, but we don't really need that. You know, for zooming, we have a limit, so your camera can only move whatever whatever this is, 100,000 pixels in the left direction, 100,000 pixels, pixels up, and everything like that. Uh, you can enable smoothing, have a speed. The faster you get, the faster it gets, I'm pretty sure the more delayed behind the player it is. I think I could be wrong or it's the opposite way but whatever way I think if you have the speed up wait maybe not maybe not maybe yeah, I think if the speeds down then it's more delayed behind the player offset just to move the camera around however you want to to the to the player and then the drag margin which was what we talked about up here but what we want is a zoom so I'm gonna use a scroll zoom but that's just to show you that the zooming is smooth and it works and everything like that. Now you probably, you, I mean you might have a scroll zoom but you also might have something else. Like, I don't know, you could send a signal, like whenever you enter the scene you could send a signal and it will zoom out of your player. So you start zoomed in and it will zoom out of your player to make a, a clean transition. And at the end of the scene you can zoom in super close to your player and then swap scenes and then zoom out of your player super quick just to make it look like a I don't know like a zoom in zoom out quick transition thing or you could have a cutscene or something that you have to zoom in with a code you could also use the same zoom you know script but I'm gonna use a scroll row just to, or a scroll will just to show you that it does work and it is smooth so we're gonna have some variables we'll have zoom speed which zoom speed, which is pretty important. I'll set it to, it doesn't really matter. You can play around with it later. We'll go 100. We'll do another variable for the zoom margin, which this is, we talked about a second ago. It starts at, I don't know what it starts at. Let's see, hold up. Let's check. Zoom margin, where is it, where is it? Didn't we just have it? Maybe not. Oh, we were talking about the drag margin. Okay. Zoom margin is at default set to one. We'll just, we'll go to 0.3. I guess it's fine. Which means like how much we want to zoom in. Zoom margin's not a thing really. So this is like the lower this is, if you want 0.1, you can do 0.1. The lower this is, like the more smooth it's gonna be but also the slower it is to zoom. So the lower you have this, if you have this 0.1, then you wanna up your speed. I'll just put it at 0.3. We can change it later to look at it uh, once, we, once we have it. And then we'll have a zoom minimum because we don't wanna be able to zoom out or we don't wanna be able to zoom in infinitely. You may want to, if you want to, then make, you know, you don't need a zoom minimum or a zoom max because it wouldn't really matter. We'll just set zoom max to one and 
this would be it have to be like 0 0.1 0 0.2 we'll go we'll go 0 0.2 I guess it's fine and we're gonna want some other stuff like zoom position we're gonna need a zoom factor I guess we'll just make a ton of variables zoom position this is gonna be a vector 2 obviously and the f uh, zoom factor I don't know I guess just one I guess that should do we're gonna want let's see we're gonna need an input function to get the scroll real the scroll will input and then we're gonna need just a physics process function so we'll make we'll make the input function or we'll just make the process function first process I don't know why it's not auto correcting I guess it doesn't matter as long as it's a, a function that works now zoom dot X now where you're wondering where okay hold up what's going on you gotta put a zero you can't put a point three you gotta put zero three now now everything should work maybe maybe not what zoom margin is equal to oh okay there's also we skipped an enter all right now we should be good we want to do zoom x equals we'll do yeah we can do lerp and then i'll explain what's going on here in just a second zoom x zoom x zoom dot x zoom dot x and then we want to times this by our zoom factor so right now it's going to be just kind of nothing but because it's it's times one so it won't really do anything but later it will when we're changing the zoom factor to control the zoom so zoom factor and then we also want zoom speed so that's really what's going to change it so we'll zoom in by the zoom speed and then we want to times this by delta delta and then we can i think we should yeah because this should be the exact same for the y so we can do zoom just change all these x's in the y's y y y wall and a y that should be fine let's see so zoom.x zoom dot zoom dot x and zoom dot x times zoom factor and zoom speed that, that works that should work now we're gonna also want to make an input function so input dot event absolute then we want the zoom position dot x we also want to minus the global mouse position global position global mouse position dot x and then that has to be if that's yeah so if that's greater than the zoom margin if that's greater than the zoom margin then we want zoom factor to be equal to 1.0 and then we can just copy this, replace it for Y. This is gonna be a bunch of the same stuff like for X and Y. So X, and then we want everything here to be Y. Just like up here, we just copied, changed the X's to Y's. Here you can copy, you can change the X to Y's. And we want an event. So, or we want to check for the, uh, the mouse. So event is input event mouse button. Now if event dot is pressed if event dot dot button index is equal to the button will up whoops event dot button index that has to be a dot event dot button index now we should be good maybe maybe not maybe not 
button up. Yeah, okay, yeah, we need a colon there too. All right, so we want, we want to, so if the button will, if we're scrolling, so let me explain what's happening. So if we're scrolling the button will up, right? Which means most of the time you want it to zoom in. So we're gonna zoom factor, we want the zoom factor to minus equal 0.01. You can put this whatever you want. The lower you put it, the less laggy it gets. So, or the more smooth it is. So zoom factor minus equal, because we want to minus the zoom factor, which right now the zoom factor is one. So the zoom factor is up here. So the lower it is, the more zoomed in we're gonna get, if that makes sense. So the lower this number here is, the more zoomed into the screen that we will be. And if there is no input, basically what this is saying, so if there is no input, then we want zoom factor to equal one, which means we don't want to be zooming in at all. If that makes, if that makes any sense, that should make sense. If it doesn't make sense, let me know in the comments. But we also want zoom position is equal to get global mouse position, and then that should be it. And then we also want to zoom out, obviously, because I mean, if you zoom in, you probably want to be able to zoom out. You can just here you can add this a plus which means instead of um, where is it the zoom factor instead of it you know going down it will go up so it will times zoom.x and the zoom.y by more so it will become a bigger number which means it will zoom out and all that stuff and then we also want to make sure this is the down will so now whoa we have a I didn't find an event mouse but I put a capital O Put a capital O. Okay. Now we should be good. Let's see. So, okay. No, we we also need because we need to clamp zoom. Dot x. That's what the minimum and max are for. So we have to add the zoom in and the zoom max in. So zoom. Dot x. We want to clamp this, which you know it's gonna keep it in between the numbers. So zoom dot x, we want it to be, so we want the x of y to zoom, of zoom dot x, we want it to be in between the zoom min and the zoom max, which means it's gonna, let's see, it's gonna stop zoom dot x if it's below this or if it's above this. Then we can copy it and we can just make it for the y as well. Boom, so if zoom.x is below zoom minimum, then it's just gonna be equal to zoom minimum. And if it's equal, if it's above zoom max, then it's gonna be equal to zoom max. Same with y. Now everything should be good. Like I say, should be good. We'll play the game. We can walk around, the camera follows obviously. It should, I mean, you don't have to do any coding for that, but you can also see we have a zoom. So the zoom, works now for a game like you know i don't like this is like a top-down platformer you're not gonna obviously you're not gonna want a zoom in a game like this because there's really no point in having a zoom in a game like this because i don't think there is anything for the zoom to do except in cutscenes and stuff but you can use this for like anything like so let's see like when you walk into a new scene, if you want it to zoom in on the player to show you like, yo, the player's here, you can do that. If you want it to walk, when you walk into a new scene, it zooms in on a chest or when you click on the chest, it will zoom in or, you know, you're down here, you can click on this, it will zoom in, all that type of stuff. You can make some smooth zoom or I guess basic zoom, you can call this basic zoom, but it is pretty smooth. I mean, it's, it's just zooming, so I mean. Not much to be asked for in zooming, but you know, I've been I've been getting people asking me questions on like how to create zooming, you know, mouse, you know, camera zooming in Godot. This is how you do it. And you could also make like cutscenes and stuff, like I said, where you want to zoom in on stuff, zoom out, you know, quickly, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in on a player, whatever you need. I don't really know. 
what zooming could be used for. I mean, I haven't really used it except in cutscenes and stuff. Or maybe whenever, you, like, let's say you're walking along. Like, you spawn here, you're walking along. You walk this way and you see it. Then your game can pause and the camera can zoom all the way into here on this little hole. It will zoom in and then it will zoom back out super quickly and it will let you play again. Like stuff like that. I don't really know what else it would be used for. But yeah, it's zooming. So I also forgot to mention, but you can also add an animation node to the camera. And with the animation node, you can create a position and zoom features with the animation node. So you can animate them and play them in the code and make the camera look pretty insane. With like, you can have the camera be move up here, move down here, zoom in, zoom out, you know, rotate, do all this stuff with just the, uh, the animation node. But let me just explain how the code works for one last time. We have all the variables, you know, the camera zoom position, zoom factor, whatever it is that, you know, basic stuff. Now in the input. So this basically says if there is no input, then zoom factor, th this right here basically says if there is no input, if there is no mouse input, then we want everything to be equal to one, which means we're not zooming in or zooming out. So it's base, like we're not gonna be zooming in, we're not gonna be zooming out, we're just gonna be set still. But if the event, uh, so if the mouse button, if the mouse button is pressed and then if event dot button index, which button index is just, it's a go dot thing where it has all the buttons for, in this instance, a mouse, because if event is, you know, a mouse, then event dot button index equals will up. So if we're scrolling the will up, we want the zoom factor to be going down. So the more we zoom in, we keeps getting smaller and keeps getting smaller and we'll keep zooming in, zooming in, zooming in until we get into the zoom minimum up here because if zoom dot X is below the zoom minimum or above the zoom max, then we want it to be equal to the zoom minimum. And then the same thing for going down, it will check it here and then it'll go up here and check both of these. And then this is what's actually zooming in. So if you're making a cutscene or something, this right here is the most important to make it smooth. You have to have the lerp or you might, I don't, I don't know. I don't think you will be able to No, So you probably won't. I don't think you will. Maybe you can, maybe there's another way to do this, but this right here, if you're looking into zoom in, zoom out, this is what you need right here. The zoom.x equals lerp and this right here. So this is, this stuff's the most important. If we were to delete all this, it would still work, but we need like to emit a signal to tell us to like, yo, zoom in now, because you have to have some type of thing to change the zoom factor. If you, you know, you could have a whole different script down here. As long as the zoom factor changes, well, the entire thing's going to work. That basically, that's what you got to take out of this is the zoom factor is the most important thing on this, in this code. So yeah. And let me know if you need more, you know, more advanced videos going over that. Hopefully you don't, but if you do, let me know in the comments. I can try and explain stuff, you know, explain how to zoom in and zoom out in different ways, not just with the mouse wheel, but how to use this in other ways. Just let me know if you need any other, you know, help on that and uh, I'll respond to your comment. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay safe and have an amazing day.